Hi there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your Class B and B Plus RV specialists. My friends call me Luke and my sisters call me Charlie, but you can call me anytime at 440 Ohio RVs. Myself or my brother Levi would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see the pricing and information on this unit. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full service dealer offering warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give me or my brother Levi a call at 440 Ohio RVs. Again, that's 440 O H I O R V S. For sale today, we have a 2001 Explorer 230 XLW with 72,235 miles. Alrighty, folks, here we are inside of this 2001 Explorer 230 XLW. As usual, we're gonna start in the front, work our way towards the rear. I'm gonna do my best to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan as well as the overall condition of this unit. Here at Coon Truck and RV, we are proud to be a family owned and operated dealership since 1976. Levi and I are in charge of the main operations today. Our brother-in-law Greg's in charge of the shop. We are honored to be a second generation business carrying on what our mom and dad started in 1976. All of these units go through the same inspection process. We make sure they're ready to roll. We'll go through a full demo with you at the time of sale, let you see everything working, get you a good crash course to make sure you're ready to hit the road in your new RV. So this is an Explorer spelled X-P-L-O-R-E-R, -E not to be confused with the Explorer camper, or excuse me, conversion vans. So the Explorer with an E conversion vans versus these with just starting with an X are the uh, camper vans. Got a nice unit here. Got about 72 inches of headroom in the main part of the coach. Got a fantastic fan here in the center that runs on the coach battery, so you can use that like an attic fan at night to cool yourself off. We've got the thermostat that controls the propane furnace, which is opposite here on the wall, that kind of tan colored grate there. We've got nice upholstery on the seats in this one. These front seats both swivel. This one can lay out and then you'll swivel this seat to connect and make a twin style bed here. So it's not gonna be as optimal for a 6'3 fellow like myself, but good for smaller adults or children. We've got a table here that will hook into this track here that you can have a table and have somewhat of a dinette here. Especially if you swivel this, you could use this as a little dinette where you have two people eating. We have a cup holder. Got a window with a screen here on the lower portion so it opens on the lower portion. Got another window here. We do have blinds or curtains throughout to provide privacy. Got a table here that can mount in the rear. Spinning around here and going to the entryway. So this is where you access the water heater. We'll check that out during the outside portion of the tour. Got your coach batteries down here. Got a stash spot in the door, fire extinguisher. Got a countertop flip out to provide some more room. We've got the little buckle here that opens this window behind this gray portion. So this is a screened window, so you can open it up, zip these shut, and then you have a screened window. We got the privacy curtain that goes there. We've also got a privacy curtain that goes all the way around the front. Sorry about that, Levi is out on vacation with his family in Maine this week, so I am the only one in the office, and every time the phone rings, it stops the camera recording, so there may be a few more cuts in this one than normal. Got a 110 outlet in there. Got a nice aluminum backsplash. Got another 110 outlet here. Got a two burner propane cooktop. You can clip this little uh, cover up there. Got a single basin sink. That nice aluminum backsplash. Got a paper towel holder. We have a three way Dometic fridge freezer. This is a three-way, meaning it runs on DC, so your coach battery, AC, which is the shore power plug-in, or the generator, or propane gas. This is all controlled via the controls on the front of the unit here. We've got some directions down in the bottom. Okay, storage space there with some of your water connections there. It's kind of hard to see. It's pretty dark inside these compartments. Could use a couple little battery powered lights inside of these to make it easier to see while you're using the RV. Nice storage compartment here. Got a 110 outlet. Got a 12 volt plug in here. And some sort of TV switch there to control possibly the TV antenna. Got 
definitely a nice wardrobe closet here where you can hang your jackets, shirts, things like that. A little extension here in case you'd like to get some more space for countertop. Flip you around here and start checking out some of these storage above the bed. So it's kind of hard to see, but this does go quite a ways back here. Again, you probably want to put a light in there to help you see quite a bit of storage. Got the AC overhead, so the air conditioner runs on the generator or the shore power plug-in only. Got a light switch here for the overhead lights. Another one of those compartments that goes quite a ways back. So kind of hard to see in there, but it's it's pretty darn deep. So it goes all the way to the back of the van. Got your TV coming in there, TV remote. I'm gonna show you this other compartment here. So this is another wardrobe closet here on the driver's side. It's quite a bit of room for storage here inside of this Explorer. All right, we've got a power sofa in the rear. Got windows that open on both sides with screens. Got the blinds in the rear here. The rear window does open. However, it's more like your school bus fire escape window. So if you open those red handles and push that out, that will fall out on the ground and break. We have had somebody do that accidentally here, so we know that for a fact. So try not to do that. This is a power sofa. It's got a button here beneath this little cloth that you can use to jackknife this out. This will make two twin beds like this. There are boards underneath the RV in the storage compartment that can span this gap. And then you use the back cushions to fill this in and make up one big bed. I'm gonna go ahead and drop some pictures here and some measurements so you can see what that looks like made up. The twin sleepers measure approximately 75 inches long and 24 inches wide. This is a very popular sleeping setup in a camper van as it allows you to easily swing your legs out at night and go to the bathroom without crawling over one another. If you make up the big bed in the back, it will measure approximately 75 inches front to back and 80 inches side to side. This bed is technically designed for two, but you could potentially sleep three people lying either direction in this bed if so desired. Down here below the couch in the rear, we have your fuse panel, 110 power, noxious gas detector. Got your table out in the rear there. That is your water pump that pumps the water out of the onboard fresh water tank. If you notice, there's a little bit of a cut in this carpet going around. This is an access panel that you can take this up and access beneath the RV. So it's not something you're going to store things in there, but that is there for service access. Here we are sitting in the couch bed at the rear of the RV. For her birthday, I took my wife to an orchard where we spent about an hour looking at the trees. Apparently, it wasn't the Apple Watch she was expecting. It was probably not the right way to go about that. So here in the back, got some smoke detectors. We have a panel here to access some of the water stuff inside the bathroom. So the bathroom is inside of this area here. We'll check that out momentarily. We've got a TV here with a built-in DVD player. It's on a swivel mount, so you can swivel this around to face the front where you could watch it from the front. We've got 12 volt power back here. and step into the restroom area here. So we've got a nice big enclosed bathroom on this. Got your sink here. You control the shower head through the sink there. Just pop that little knob up. Got some towel bars. Got your toilet paper holder down there. So this is one fiberglass room here with your drain in the floor. So you get inside of here, use the toilet. Got a medicine cabinet here that opens with some storage. You pull this curtain around you. you, got an exhaust vent here. Basically you can pull this curtain around you to provide some protection from the water, help contain everything inside this room, but you'll shower and use your toilet inside of this room here. We do have a little flip out here for some extra privacy, an extra mirror behind that as well. We have a microwave. The microwave runs on the shore power plug-in or the generator only. spot above there we've got a 110 outlet over here so you could use this like a little charging station perhaps we've got the start stop for the Onan 4k generator there's a fresh service fresh oil change by our certified Onan techs that has 62 hours 
Got your levels test for the um, propane, the fresh water holding tank, the black and gray tanks, and the coach battery. Got your water pump on off switch to turn the water pump on and off to pump the water out of the onboard tank. We have a water heater switch here. Battery disconnect is down there. That disconnects the coach battery, also disconnects the charging systems. Got a solar panel controller here. So there's a solar panel on the roof. That's where you can kind of control that and tell what's coming in from that. Got a nice storage area up here. Got your manuals in that case. Got your chassis manuals there. Got two 110s, 12 volt. This is for some of your TV connections going through the RV. Got a fresh water tank heater. Um, if you're thinking about using that, we can go through some more of that before you leave with your RV here. There are some um, things you might want to watch out for if you are planning for some cold, uh, cold weather camping. Those tank heaters help, but they do not prevent everything bad from happening. So we got a nice unit here, very clean specimen. I'm gonna call this one a 9.5 out of 10 for a 2001. You're not gonna find too many things wrong with this one. It's gone through our full inspection process, a very nice unit. If you're lining it up to a 2015 unit, you might call it a nine, but there are some cosmetic things that you just uh, expect with a 2001, somewhat of a given. But again, going through our full inspection process, ready to hit the highway. Check it out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976. Up here in the cabin area, we've got power windows, power locks, power mirrors, tilt, cruise, CD player. Got nice clean upholstery, no signs of smoking. It's tough to say for sure. Some people have a super nose, but the cigarette lighter is also unused. So I'm gonna call this one a non-smoker. We have a control here that controls what this radio is powered from. So you can flip that switch if you wanna power it from the engine battery. You can also make it run off of the coach battery if you'd like to listen to some tunes while you're parked somewhere. And we have the controls for the uh, rear airbag suspension up there. Kind of hard to see, but you can push those buttons and tell how much pressure is in the airbags. Also, I forgot to mention, we have seat belts up front here. We got seat belts on this, and there are three lap belts in the rear here. So normally our guys pull them up through here. Rick must have forgot to do that on this one. But if you look down below, there are three lap belts on the rear couch here. So there's a total of six seat belts in this unit. Alrighty folks, we're gonna go around the outside of this 2001 Explorer 230 XLW. This RV measures 20 and a half feet bumper to bumper, has six brand new tires. This RV is built on a Dodge Ram 3500 chassis with a 5.9 liter V8 engine with 72,235 miles. Got a really nice looking exterior on this one for an 01, lots of shine. Decals are in pretty good condition. Go ahead and show you this. This is the back of the water heater. It's kind of hard to see this on the inside portion of the tour, the way these doors are. Got your coach battery down here. Got your coach battery disconnect. Got the storage that you can access from beneath the sink. Got a switch to turn the water heater on using DC or 12 volt. Got an outside shower. Back of the refrigerator, furnace exhaust. We do have dual wheels on this with rear airbag suspension. Do you control the airbags from the inside to control how much air pressure is in those? Got two 110 outlets. Got a nice storage bay here. These are the boards that you can use to make up the big bed inside. Got a pass through here. This is beneath the couch in the rear. Storage area around back with some extra goodies in there for your tire kit. You have a tow package. Got your generator exhaust there. Got some blemishes on the decals on the rear. Coming around to the driver's side, we have an Onan 4K generator, fresh service, fresh oil change by our certified Onan techs. Got a little more storage space there. We've got your fresh water fill for the onboard fresh water tanks. So you'll put the hose in there. The water will travel with you wherever the RV goes. We've got your city water connection. So the city water hose will go right there. Got telephone and TV. Got your shore power plug in there. The fuel fill runs the engine and the generator. We've got your sewer hose dump here. So we have your black on the lower, which is the body waste they're calling it. And then the liquid waste is the gray. So pull the bottom one first, then the gray. They'll both come out of this hole. Got a sewer hose storage here. A 
nice looking unit. I'm gonna flip around here. I forgot to point out the propane tank. The propane tank on this one is located up underneath here. Kind of hard to see, but the propane tank is up there. That is mounted to the unit. So you'll have to drive this RV wherever you would like to fill the propane up.